to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. That ended quickly. Uh, episode, I messed up. Uh, <laughs> screw it. I'll keep going. Okay. Uh, episode 74. I wasn't expecting it to end, end so fast. I'm Neil. I'm Annalise. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sexy loons. I'm out of it because this is the first time we've actually recorded back in the studio in like three weeks. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And then we, and that, and we only did one because we were away on vacation and those were not back here. So I'm all, discombobulated <laughs> good word I, I don't even know if it's recording i don't know what's going on i, don't know what I'm <laughs> I guess doing. we'll find out after the fact huh? one of the two. Oh my goodness we're starting early we're about an hour earlier today no i meant with the drinking and shaking another yeah. drink also it started about an hour earlier today <laughs> uh thank you everybody welcome Woo. uh dark angels and pretty freaks.com gotta get that right out of the way I do. <laughs> and you can download our free app if you want because we're going to keep it Yep, and yeah, we're on Instagram and Pinterest. Check out our website, and our, Facebook page. I always think it's funny because we always pimp this stuff, and it's not like it doesn't really matter. It, I mean, it matters if you want to check out what we're doing, but it doesn't matter. It's not like, <laughs> oh, my God, go to our website because we make a billion dollars if you go. No, we just we think it's cool. We Yeah, it's a very and busy stuff. website. It's kind of in it. There's a lot too much on the front pages of our website, so? but there's a lot. Right. You can see pictures of us. Because that's exciting. <laughs> More of us. <laughs> Speaking of us, I was just scanning a picture of uh, when I was in the band back in the day when I had long hair. Because I'm thinking of doing one last grow out the hair. Attempt? Wahoo. <laughs> okay. Because I'm, I'm too old for it now. Mm-hmm. But I'm not balding that much yet. Like I don't have <laughs> a bald spot in back yet. You don't have any bald spots. So I'm thinking might just do it one last time. Yeah. You have that really creepy, greasy, stringy if long hair. If it's creepy and greasy, that has to go. No, I'm, then I'm really keeping to go. it, and I'm going to grow a mustache then, no, too. No, no, It's going to be awesome. No. So I scanned a picture uh, because You'll be spending a lot of time at work. <laughs> to see pictures from back in the band days. Mm. And so I decided that one. I also have to That's scan really the picture. That's really the only one I've by. seen of you. I mean, yeah, well, you showed me a couple of other pictures, but all one. I can see is Heno. I'm not even sure you're actually in the picture. I'm there. I'm somewhere. I'm hiding. <laughs> in the background. Somewhere. So here we are. Face to face, a couple mm-hmm. of silver spoons. How are you feeling? Back in the zone? I'm still really tired. Yeah. It's been crazy. For I those, tried really hard to let you sleep in a little bit this morning. For those just tuning tough. in, and thank you, we we have uh, um, some new listeners. It always sounds weird to say new listeners. I don't like that. Like new people who listen. Does it make you feel ours. like a radio DJ? Yeah, and they're not ours. I mean, they're just people who listen to the podcast. Do you have an urge to say Sunday, Sunday, Sunday? Only if we were going to a tractor pool. <laughs> We could be. But there, we have had some <laughs> close uh, to one. people who recently discovered us, and I think that's cool. Yeah. And we got our, our n- new shipment of koozies in, also known as the Christmas card, mm-hmm. which is fun. And stickers. And stickers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anybody who wants some free yeah. Dark Angel I have a couple of uh, packages to send out already. I have yeah, a... we have a bunch to send out. Yeah. But we, we got them already. And uh, Brandy, the person who sent that wonderful email, uh, didn't have any stuff to send her. So now we do. So yeah. you're getting your stuff. Yay. I sent an email actually saying sorry, I didn't forget about you. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. What, what what do you got? What's going on? How uh, are you? Nothing. I just uh, I also talked to that fracking cat and uh, made sure I had the correct address. And uh, to a, a couple things podcast. I know I need still need to send yours, but um, I told you I would send them while we were in Jamaica. So it's taking me a little. Couple so we weeks didn't. To... How would we send them when we were in <laughs> exactly. Jamaica? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's I said I would send thing. them when I got back, but I have yet to do that. So well, we're back. So you actually have a lot of time now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> send them when I get back. It could be like six years. <laughs> That's pretty an open still ended back. statement. Yeah, I'm still back. Still back. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much have till next year to send that right. shit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I am uh, not caught up on my sleep yet. Yeah. It's been crazy because I was gone for three weeks. I had to spend the night at work for four nights for that Outside Lands concert. Right. Um, and, um, and the days were very long when I wasn't staying at work. Yeah. You were working very, very long days. You would leave the house at like five 30 in the morning, and get home at like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. There were some times I got home later, which sucked. Yeah, I so, fell asleep though. So I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> and then sleeping on a cot in a, uh, container shipping yeah. container yeah. at work, mm-hmm. but I actually enjoyed it. It's fun. I mean, and uh, I can't really complain that I get to get paid to watch a three-day right. festival. Right. And the, the, well, I mean, you don't always get to watch it and you don't always get to enjoy no. it because you're super tired yeah. and sometimes you can't, you know, be at the place of the band you want to see get, because there's other, there's so much going on that you have to take care of. But I, I did get to hear Elton John, which was pretty cool. <laughs> hear him, not see him. Uh, I saw a couple songs. Okay. Yeah, but I was too freaking exhausted. Um, you're like, yeah, it's great. Got to go. <laughs> but it was good. The Outside Lands Music Festival is held in Golden Gate Park. 
three day thing. And I just, uh, it was a lot of fun. The people who put it on the production companies, I mean, obviously they make good money for doing it, but they work their freaking butts off. And this yeah, for year, like three weeks and enduring and yeah, it's yeah. a two, it's pretty much a, it's almost a two week setup. They don't have that much time to set up. I mean, it's five main stages mm-hmm. and it's, I, I want to say it, oh, it's, it's huge. And it's there's just a couple a of other little stages. Like I saw also they that the they did like, and... um, they did that one, um, RV yeah. little mini stage that yeah. moves around or whatever. Yeah. That's really cool. They have a, a comedy. It's called the Barbary tent. It's called mm-hmm. like Tig Mataro was there this year mm-hmm. and, and some uh, other famous comedian. So it's, it's mm-hmm. constant. Yeah. It, and not to a, mention all of the food. And right. And it's known for its on. food and wine and craft beer. Yeah. Uh, it's huge. And yeah. it's a lot of fun. And they go through a lot of work. This year they had some difficulties. Um, it was just one of those years where it, it seemed like everything that could go wrong right. for them for setup did go wrong. And they overcame it. And it was a great show. Right, and they opened and on time and intact. <laughs> yeah. So it Ready was, for the show start. It was good. Um, there was a couple of things. If, can I go into it or did you have Go ahead. Do I don't really stuff? have that much because okay. I was just kind of home. So, stuff, so. so it's interesting because my boss and I, Roger, we spend a lot of time together anyway. Right. And we spend even more time together during this freaking thing. Mm-hmm. We're like in a cargo container, shipping container together. And obviously we have to work a lot. But when we have downtime, we're in there together. We eat every meal together. Mm-hmm. Um, we you're basically sleep. together all the yeah. time. And, and, I gotta, and when you're actually working, sometimes you're together, sometimes you're not. But a lot of times when you're doing work work, you're also together during right. that. So. And we, we're, you know, <clears throat> friends anyway, but... Obviously, with that much time, we annoy the bejesus out of each other. But I got to say, for the most part, we have a really good time and mm-hmm. hang out. And uh, I think that's really cool that we're able to do that and not absolutely kill each other by yeah. the end. Although I'm, you can tell we're, we're just right. grumpy. Right, tired of each other yeah. by the end. And we'll just tired in general. In, yeah. In general, yeah. It, yeah, that doesn't. But I'd like to go again and hang out with him again. I've only really hung out with him that first year, and uh, that was a lot of fun. So I'd like to do yeah. that again. It was, it, yeah. So there was a couple of things that um, in our delirious wackiness, that Roger and I were talking about, you know, he came up with the gristle missile. Mm-hmm. So we were talking Very about popular. band names. And, <laughs> and so we came up with a band name that involved gristle missile. Oh God. Okay. It was gristle missile and the Dale donut hole. Yeah. Cause we thought that, you know, the gristle missile could. Uh, it sounds almost penetrate. like breakfast. <laughs> and it's not the donut hole. Like when you go to a store and you buy a donut hole and it's actually like a little round ball. of It's the actual hole in a donut. Right. So the gristle missile could go into the, Oh, I yeah. get it. <laughs> uh, we also came up with uh, crying vagina and the mattress stain. What the hell? Is that my phone? That's your phone. <laughs> shut that up. Uh, yeah, crying vagina and the mattress stain. Gross. Also gross. We thought gross. that would be fun. <laughs> uh, so that's all we came up with. That I introduced Roger to Vine. Oh, yeah. And so he watched Vine for hours on end. Just like cracking himself up. Oh, my gosh. He was having a great time. He's like, did you see that? It was, yeah. So that was like, fun. no, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Um, so there was there was a couple of things I saw during the concert. Um, I saw a, a lot, a lot of skinny jeans that were rolled up. Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah. I saw way too many beards. Yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm. A, I was concerned that that many beards in one area would cause like some sort of static friction and electricity, yeah, and they would possible. all just like heads would just start popping off. Yeah, it could be. I. I and, it was already hot, and to add that many uh, beards in one place, I could. And what I've noticed is that a, a lot of these people that wear these skinny jeans and have these beards are not regular size. They're either really, really small, skinny people, mm-hmm. or they're very large, overweight people. <laughs> There's no but middle there ground. There was no middle ground. <laughs> and I'm like, where all of uh, yeah? I guess they didn't. The people in the middle it's didn't get the interesting. Last, I would say three to four years um, to watch the evolution of music festivals in general, especially outside music festivals where it's become a lot about what you wear as opposed to who you're there to see. I mean, like I see like little Buzzfeed and Huffington Post articles about what are you wearing to this summer's music festival scene? And I'm like, um, why don't we have an article about what bands are playing? Right. How about that? I mean, there's more articles about what you should be wearing and looking cool in and yeah, I, take with you and all that, as opposed to who's actually playing. I'm like, wow, it's kind of it's getting gotten weird. <laughs> it was it was interesting, and the thing that was that was, I found very interesting is that there were like these these small smaller gentlemen in their small jeans rolled up with mm-hmm. their large beards, and they were like mean mugging on each other. And I don't know if that was like over the beards, like dude, my beard's cooler, you're lame, and it's like probably no, I'm sure no there's way. beard Check envy, out my flannel, beard you know, envy, I don't, yeah. 
But it was hilarious. I was like, these little we'll have to guys ask are going to get friends if that's a thing. I was going to. Well, I don't. I don't think we know many hip. Well, I guess Xander's kind of a hipster bearded guy. Yeah. But like, I think most of the people we know that are bearded aren't like. And I there's I have no problem with the hipsters. I think that's Xander's cool. They're having beard a good, is more a combination of laziness and also like. Um, but he's got the total hipster thing. But he going has on. super hipster going on. Yeah. yeah he for dre- sure. and, and and I don't have a problem with that. That's great. Hey, you're having a good time. It's just a look, you know. But I was I'm I was wondering like these two will these two little guys in their little they're not jeans, brawl because they'll mess they, up their are outfits. Are they gonna get like in a slap fight? No, I'm like I, I, they're and, just but they were totally staring. They might get down. in a war of words, but that would be it. Because a otherwise keto, if, you if, you, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, they don't, don't want to mess up each other's outfits. But it was so. it was hilarious. I, was watching... I think it's like an unspoken agreement that like we will not mess with each other's outfits. Maybe, but I, but I will say overall, everybody was very uh, nice and treated each mm-hmm. other well. But I had never seen so many. It's beards one of the in one best spot. Uh, um, behaved festivals. Yeah. I've seen. Yeah, it was um, it, it was so freaking crowded this year. Yeah, but it was uh, it was a good. But I it feel was... like it's gotten a little too big. I'm that's my personal opinion. I don't know how everybody else feels about that, and I don't know how the production company feels about that. But just as an outsider looking in, it's too big. Yeah, for the space, and there's just too many people. Like it takes you so long to cross the it expanse was insane this year to too. get we to I, another stage. I never like, went. I never left the pole. Like yeah, I mean, it's just one of those weird things where if you're even trying to get to another stage, you might not make it there in yeah. time. So I never. Like, I never left the pole. You could spend a lot of a couple hours a day just in transit from one stage to another. And it's in the same park, so it shouldn't take you that long. Right. But there you have to weed through the sea of people. Well, so. just usually just the walk, if there's nobody there to like the main other places, mm-hmm. is a few minutes. Yeah. And so you add 90,000 people and it's yeah. insane. But it was a good time. People had had fun. I was I was just laughing. I, I did see a couple things that I, I was not sure about I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. One... <laughs> Um, are fanny packs making a comeback? You know, what's interesting is I haven't seen the actual fanny pack itself as a thing make a comeback, but then there's like these new upgraded like belt wallets. No, didn't see any of those. No, so actual fanny, fanny packs. packs. I mm. And a lot of them. Not that I know of. It was, I was like. I did get insane. my mom a fanny pack this year you from did. Jamaica. <laughs> you did. Roger is a big fan of the fanny pack. So if you so think a thrilled. fanny pack is a good idea, let me just point out that my mom wears a fanny pack. <laughs> And right. has for the last, like, 20 years. Henno was a big fanny pack guy, and it so, drove me up a goddamn wall. Henno, nicks the fanny pack. Man person. No, I don't know if he still does, but Jesus, that thing drove me nuts. He's going to show up with one just oh, to bug you. God. Drove me up a wall. So here's another thing that I okay. saw. Acid wash jeans. Are those making a comeback? Saw a ton of them. Um, on, the, well, on the ladies, not the dudes, because the dudes were too busy. Yeah, jeans in general... Um, are on the huge wave up and like doing like no, full no, no, denim not, outfits. No, 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 yeah. not jeans specifically. Yeah, I just meant that jeans. like it's just. I never. Knew I think jeans it's natural. Nash- like I, I've never been somewhere and been like, no one's wearing jeans. Well, I think for a while, like it Unless wasn't super cool or whatever to wear uh, jean jackets and stuff like that. But it's super cool again to wear them. So I think. In combination with that enters in the other things that go along with jeans and that's and then the eighties and all being, that crap is back. So I'm just I think being very specific. Acid wash acid jeans wash from jeans. the eighties are also back. A lot of acid wash I jeans. I hope not, because I never really liked them the first time. So the only and then what I started searching for, which probably creeped a couple of people out, was I wanted to find pleated acid wash jeans, which that just made a, it that's really weird. So wrong for I, so many reasons. I know. And I, I think I've made a couple people feel weird as I was staring at their jeans. In that area, looking for pleats, and then they'd look at me and I'd be like, eh. "Probably." And I'm dressed in work clothes, and right? A, so and city a workers vest, giving them an like, awkward hey. stare. Yeah, nice. it, was, it was good. It was a good time. Um, there was one thing I saw mm-hmm. which absolutely disgusted me. Okay, this dude was wearing a custom football jersey. Mm-hmm. It was a black jersey with white lettering. Mm-hmm. The numbers sixty nine. Okay. The name on the back, Slut Whisperer. <laughs> okay. And I w- and he was there with another dude, his buddy. And he were they hoping to pick up chicks with I that? I don't know. <laughs> and they use the term chicks because that's appropriate for what we're talking about. I have, and that guy's jersey. <laughs> I have no idea. I would imagine he goes by the hammer in his softball beer league. Well. But <laughs> this dude, he, I mean, for, I didn't think he was the most attractive gentleman in the world. But and, you weren't out there looking for a date, so. But I was like, <laughs> really? That, Really? Really? Yeah, I'm like, that's, your mom that's bold. must be so proud that's of you. Bold. That's bold. Maybe that's how he became a slut whisperer. He talked to her so much growing up that he was like, oh, damn. Oh. 
I was like, yeah, oh, that's it was uh, so, not cool. Yeah. Very rarely do I see somebody and just want to punch him in the face. Yeah. This guy just wanted to punch in the face. <laughs> and he was one of those, like, I'm holding two beers and yelling at my buddy. Like, was he a bra? Dude. His little oh, bra. Oh, my God. It was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I didn't see him later, so I don't think things went for him during, well, during the day. Because he was right. in the VIP section. Never saw him again. Mm. So. Yeah. Slut whisperer. Oh, God. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's. That's not going to make your friends, dude. Wa- it's not going to wa- make your friends. I just like that. Like, you get up in the morning. And whatever. People can do whatever they want. But when you actually wear something that says something like that. Well, the thing is, is he obviously had that made. I think on the front he should have had it. I mean, like. Just say misogynistic There was so much thought that went into that before he wore it. Yeah. And then to wear it that day. Yeah. Like, he's going to be surrounded by probably 50,000 women. Because at this point, I think I saw something on the internet about how it's actually more women at these festivals than men. Oh, yeah. I don't know. And, um. It's a whole thing. I, I, that's what I was talking about, the whole Bu- BuzzFeed fashion, Huffington Post thing, how it's like half of it's have to go to be seen in like the festival crowd. And they blah, all blah, look blah. the same after they all a while, look I'll tell you that. the same in their Although I will say outfits. this, if dude wanted but to stand out, he did. I don't know really, aside from the two bearded frictioners, I didn't really, <laughs> I did see one, there was one. Maybe they were fighting over their hipster girlfriend. There was one, a, a, a girl and a guy, and she had a sign worn that was on her back that said, send dick pics to and then it had a phone number and so she was wearing it and then later on the boyfriend who i think was a boyfriend husband whatever was wearing it and i thought that that was kind of funny <laughs> and then i'm like i wonder if it's like her ex-boyfriend's number because you don't it know who this phone number is. oh that's and I, hilarious and what i wanted to do was go take a picture of the guy and then send it to the phone number so when they got it they're like dick pics and it's like oh it's you yeah because you're a, a right dick. or find the slut whisperer guy and send mm-hmm. it. but it was hilarious Send dick pics too. <laughs> so um, last year, you guys dug up a keg that was buried, and someone was trying to hide some beer. Yeah, anything like that happened this year? Um, somebody tried to hide a keg, we think, but not on the polo fields, and we couldn't find what it was. But we saw a bunch of people. Was actually, there dirt? Somebody saw one of the people who worked there saw people running away from this wooded area with shovels. <laughs> so we're like, well, unless they were burying a body, right? But they could be burying. Like last year, a lot of people would hide like um, pot and shrooms in the trees Mm -hmm. and then go and get them out after. So we don't know. Maybe they were burying something else. The thing to me that I was thought, I'm like, if you're going to bury something, why not bury like like a fifth of whiskey or vodka, something small that you just go grab and then put it in your backpack and you're done. A keg, you're kind of stuck in that area. As well as it would take a significant amount of time to dig a hole big enough to bury a keg. in. Well, they did it three times last year. So yeah. Who knows? Same people. They got away with one, right? Yeah. No, they got away with two. Oh. I caught mine. The right. ones in the other area weren't caught. Mm. But that's why uh, Tupper gave me the nickname Hawkeye. <laughs> nice. So yeah, so it was really cool. Everybody was really nice uh, to me, and it was a it was another good year. And I'm happy to be home. Happy it's over. Oh. Uh, dreading next year, as I we did last year. I worked it, and then we went to Jamaica and got married. This year we went to Jamaica first, and then I worked it. Next mm-hmm. year we're doing it where I work it, and then leave for Jamaica. And I realize I'm just exhausted by the end. Yeah. So the first couple of days, and we're going to the. Um, Is that your feet? Yeah. Oh hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to um, the um, one resort first. We the, are going to the one resort first. Um, the quiet help resort. Me. Yes, in and Sushi. so luckily you will get a couple of days there to recoup and yeah we have a week before we actually meet i'm really up. good about leaving you alone on those days because i can just lay there and like read a book and take a nap and i'm totally cool with that too because i need the right the, it always takes a couple of days to we are know, um, get to the downtime we are there for a week before we meet up with the crew yes that will and if anyone still is interested in the jamaica cast 2016 in jamaica right henceforth the name jamaica cast i, I think we said in our last right. episode but your parents might be going parents cousins yeah sister cool crazy Woo-hoo. so yeah so that was that was outside life. that was um, my oh i have a, another question about the Hi, um uh, our comment about the the beer cake thing um i can't remember who i was talking to but i was talking to someone about the buried keg and they were thinking that they're like they're like that's kind of gross like warm beer that's been buried in the ground for days it's kind of yucky like why would yeah. you want that and i was like and well it's it was super Budweiser. expensive yeah and it's super but it's super expensive to buy beers there so if you went in on it and then I mean, at that point, if you're having a warm beer in the middle of the afternoon, is it that big of a deal? I don't know. I believe but, the craft uh, beers were nine dollars for twelve ounces. Yeah, I, uh, there was a few people horrified had some good by beers there this year. Yeah. though. I didn't. Um, who else was there? Uh, there was Lagunitas, I know. Uh, 
North Coast. Um, Lagunitas was there? I thought so, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, uh, I Stone know, Brewing? No, Stone wasn't there this year. They were there last year. Oh. Uh, Napa was there? Napa, there were, oh, Napa uh, Smith. Yeah, they yeah. had their own area. There were a lot of um, beers that I... Um, session? Yes, sessions, uh, yeah. So there were, but I, I didn't write them all down. You um, can find them if you go online. To I don't. I'm not. I don't remember if Lagunitas had a booth by themselves, but no. I think they had, or I think Lagunitas was being served by someone else. May, oh, that could be. Um, because I remember seeing like some sort of post, like ah, oh, they may to have Lagunitas been in the beers. They may have been in the beer, and I just didn't. I'm right. so used to seeing it that I did. Because there's like the beer area or whatever, yeah, and then the beer, wine, the beer area. land, yeah. And then they had wine land, um, which was huge, hugely popular this year. I saw a whole bunch. Yeah, of it's kind of cool. They that. they moved. Remember when we used to walk from the one field to the other, and it was like in the way. Yeah, they moved it somewhere else, so it was at its own. Like if you wanted to go there, you actually had to leave and go there, which made that passageway. Better. Easier to yeah. get through. Smart. But um, I also sent you a video yes. during Outside Lands. Yes, you did. Did I not? Yes, you did. Did, did you forget? No. <laughs> okay, I was like, wow, that's depressing. No, no, so. no. I wasn't sure we were going to talk about that. <laughs> oh, we don't have to. All right. Don't talk about the video. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think it was that funny. It's not funny. I like the video. Thank you for sending it to me. Sure. I just wanted to show you that I missed you. Thank you very much. <laughs> in a very interesting way. Yes. <laughs> um, you want to do this before yes. we move on? Yes. Oh, yes. Gosh, I'm so out of practice, too. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, here we are with the Napa weather report. We haven't done this in a while. I know. A few weeks. So today, as of recording, it was 99 degrees outside with 29% humidity. Oh, it nice. was 78 degrees inside. We're running our little air conditioner. Mm-hmm. At 50% humidity, the barometer was at 29.92. 11 miles peak wind, uh, 5 miles average, and 7 miles out of the south. So there is your Napa weather report. <laughs> Say it once for me, Selector. <laughs> um, um, so, give it to me, Selector! Or give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I feel like we should talk about the fire at this point because um, part of the what's going on in the weather right now is the fires around here and they're moving oh. around and they got one contained mostly, but then it merged with. I think it's the, called the, the Jerusalem fire. They got the Rocky fire contained like ninety five percent, but then it merged with the new one, Jerusalem, which is really close by. Um, and today is actually a really smoky day, and it's one of the first days you could actually see the smoke outside, and uh, it's pretty hazy out there, so. Hope everybody's safe, and thank you to the firefighters for I was, helping us out. Yes, thank you very much to the firefighters. Wanted to uh, also, before I forgot, I had it, and I, I didn't mean it. We I used a different um, like little ABI or avatar or picture for our episode this week. It was mm-hmm. really colorful. It wasn't our regular. And that uh, Tom Jackson Jr., yep. um, he massaged and manipulated our regular. He sure did. Yes, he did. Our regular. <laughs> um logo is it called <laughs> yeah. whatever and made it kind of fun so we used it this week on um the podcast episode, yeah. And yeah people were like what what, what, what <laughs> yeah. happened yeah uh, but everyone liked it so thank you tom right. hello hello just text me Hi, um hello we're busy yeah we're busy I'm gonna text <laughs> right now. we are recording <laughs> i Damn will it. text you soon there you go um <laughs> actually he was responding to me i, I texted him first earlier uh, slow whisper. So, yeah. So thank you to the firefighters. Uh, unfortunately, I know in California, what two firefighters have now lost their lives battling the fire. Oh, is there another one? I know one did. Yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. I might be wrong, but anyway, one is too many, but it's a, it's a very dangerous job. We know firefighters, mm-hmm. um, John is husband, hus- hus- yes. husband, husband, hubby. Yeah. Um, but we, you know, Rick and Eric and Johnny Payne and a bunch of other people that I know. <laughs> uh, so Thank you very much for all the hard work and sacrifice and you guys. Right. And what's actually really cool too is the um, local, um, there's some local people that have set up charity spots and donation spots and things like that. And also the local surrounding towns have been taking um, animals, not only Mm -hmm. domestic animals, but large animals and other uh, ranches that are in safe zones um, have been taking other people's. Right. Other ranches, animals, and things like that. And that's huge. I mean, because, like, what what if you had, like, 50 sheep or whatever? Like, right. You know, and then there's the, – I posted a couple of videos about, like, you could – there's this uh, group of firefighters, and there's just, like, um, farm animals, like, 
wandering down the road, like, but, and the fire is super close and they're just trying to get away and they're yeah. on the loose. Like yeah. there's farm animals and domestic animals on the loose because they're just trying to get away from the fire. So, well, I've, I've heard a couple farmers and ranchers will just kind of bust their gates and be yeah. like, Hey, because they're stuck in there. I can't so do, I can't yeah. get you out. So good luck. And yeah. don't, don't come back this way, yeah. but it's tough for animals. Cause they don't, you know, they want to be back home. So. Right. They keep trying to go back home. And, um, I saw, uh, yesterday I saw this one, uh, picture, video about it was a little short video about um there was this uh, donkey that kept following the firefighters that actually had hoses they had hoses in their hands and they were fighting the fire and um he stayed with them and followed them around like he just yeah he just found like the humans that had water and he didn't wouldn't leave their side and so they finally like had to like get somebody like can can somebody somebody take the donkey donkey out of here (laughs) yeah (laughs) so like there's these two firefighters that have this hose and there's just like a donkey standing and there's a i'll show you the picture later but um and he's just like within like a couple of feet he's just like all up in their face like oh my god you guys (laughs) it it reminds me of anytime i try to do some around the house and seven would be like what are you doing yeah i'm like i'm (laughs) Working with power equipment, if right. you could move away. And he's like, no way. This looks cool. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Put my face in here. <laughs> like, it's the electric hedge trimmer. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> um, uh, he, uh, Hanno says hello. He says, say hello Hi. to your amazing wife. <laughs> hello. And Hanno says he's not cutting his hair until he can donate it. Oh, wow. Cool. Well. I think right. it has to be a certain amount of inches. I know that. You can't it color it, do. right? Something right. like that. <laughs> I'm not donating mine because I'll be coloring it. like. But his is, I, th- I think he highlights his or lowlights his. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, Hello, yeah. do you low light? <laughs> do you? Do you? Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> um, you all right? Why wow. Okay, don't slam that down. It's loud. <laughs> is it? Uh, what else do you got? Because I wanted to talk about the ovipositor. Uh, your what? The dildo. Oh God, that's so weird. It's okay, not um, weird. It's awesome because I came up with an amazing thing kill two birds with one dildo. okay you just okay go ahead because i don't have anything that's technically related to that so to a dildo right so they have this the ovipositor dildo mm-hmm. which is a dildo so you get this i don't even know how to start so it's a dildo that will deposit eggs Baked made out of gelatin eggs. into either somebody's butt or vagina or mouth or whatever you want to do so I guess there's this thing that people are kind of, you know, it's like that alien laying eggs It looks in you. very alien And then the, the gelatin egg will obviously, with your body heat, break down and just ooze out of your whatever orifice you stuck it in. Great. That's all fine. I mean, you already, you had me immediately with this thing. Oh, but then I started thinking you could cross this and butt chugging. So you can make the eggs, because they give you the tray. Out of liquor? Jello shots. And huh. then you put them inside whatever orifice you want. You need to patent that because that's genius. Then actually. you get like <laughs> you're having the time of your life because you know you're like, oh my god, you know, I'm pretending that you're impregnating me with this alien egg, and then slowly you're getting drunk. Yeah. And then it, and then that's I thought like with with a girl horrifically like, genius. Yeah, like with a girl, <laughs> like I could, you know, when when ours arrives, I could like nope. jello shot you <laughs> in your vajayj. And then if I go no. down on you, it's like we're both getting drunk. And it's it's like grape jelly, mm. uh, alien egg, sexiness. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. So. I don't want to lay eggs. This is so. <laughs> I think this is amazing. <laughs> You're not going to lay eggs. It's going to. It's going to. I don't to... want to be laid eggs in. Well, that kind of happens right now. They're just tiny, tiny. Oh, I don't think I have any eggs. Mm. Oh, I don't. You don't. Oh, it's a shame. You're getting ripped off in this whole scenario. <laughs> so now you're going to get okay a jello with egg. That. <laughs> I'm okay. But wouldn't that be cool? Mm. Mm. I think this is awesome. Nope. <laughs> nope. Can't wait to try it. No. <laughs> I just like that you're like, oh, this feels good in my butt. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's an egg. Oh, my God. I am so hammered. <laughs> and you're like, done. I went it's from like, what was that to I'm hammered. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, wow. That hurts a little. Oh, oh. Wait, what's that? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, you know, everything that comes out is like sweet and sticky. Um, I do think that's genius, though. We should yeah. probably so. patent that idea and send it to him. Anyway, that's, that's all I got. <laughs> I just thought that was cool. God. I'm sure Slut Whisper 69 guys all over. He probably already has one. He probably so. doesn't. He's probably like, oh, no, don't touch my bum. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I don't have any idea what I was going to talk about. <laughs> God. I'm sorry to say that. 
Um, I was going to talk about how um, the target lady doesn't recognize me when you're not around, apparently. That's because I, I, I gave her an ovipositor dildo. Mm. So she's like, I'm not drunk right now. And then she sees me and she's like, oh, I know how I can get drunk at work. <laughs> Stop. And not, it won't make my breath stink. Unless it, you didn't clean it before you used it. Then it might. Depending which orifice. Okay. Is that all you got? Just the target lady didn't recognize you? Um, Target lady. No, I'm joking. Did you want to talk about her more? My feelings were, were hurt. Bummed. Yeah, you, you texted, texted me and you were you. like, target lady didn't recognize me. I know. So here's my, and I've asked you this before and you still haven't done it. What's her name? I don't know. So maybe she's kind of upset that you never say like, hey, Melinda. You don't know her name. I don't need to know her name. She recognizes me. Am I going to waste my time learning somebody's name who recognizes me? That's not me? nice. And I, like, learn other people's <laughs> name. Like, hey, hey, Thomas, how are you? And he's like, dude, I don't know you. Mm. Like, did you not see my shirt? I'm a slut whisperer. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's go talk to your mom. <sighs> sorry that she did. But she, today she was all excited. I know, because oh, she recognized you. Target per, you know, today's Target um, list was interesting. Was it? So we got... Air fresheners. Yeah. Dog food. Yeah. And a vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> kind of interesting. And some coffee. We got some coffee? We got coffees. Oh, at the Starbucks. At, yeah. at the Starbucks. Is at the thing. Starbucks I say, in I drive the Target. Every now and then I <laughs> just punch myself right in the dinger. Like, why do you say that? Um, oh, that reminds me. Um, we're going to see Eminem tomorrow, but I wanted to say that I've been catching up on um, Eminem. Eminem. Um, Slim Shady, Mike and Michelle um, from. The real Shady L. Yud. <laughs> Mike Michelle from Who the What Now, and um, we're going to see them tomorrow. So at we're not going to really party. see Eminem. Wait a minute. What you went from Eminem to Mike and Michelle? Yeah, Eminem. No. M and M. No. Yeah. Okay. So um, I was listening to some of their podcasts, um, and I think Michelle should have a new little segment where she recommends other podcasts because I know she listens to a lot. And there was one on like I can't remember what it's called, like the suspense show. Your brother already or thinks he talks about other podcasts on their podcast too much. <laughs> you think he's gonna say like, yeah, Michelle? Well, if they cut like more. five minutes out of the graphic novice podcast talk, they could probably fit it's in Michelle's. <laughs> they could fit in Michelle's suggestions. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to. I think out your there. sister is freaking amazing on the podcast. Not that your brother Sus isn't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I know that now it's going to be Nichols going to be like, oh, Neil's you're going to hashtag more Michael. Michelle. That, that might not go over so well. <laughs> I think I'll think of something better. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so and we're going to see them tomorrow at the <laughs> birthday. Just hashtag less Mike. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Oh, okay. That's funny. Okay. So we're going to yeah. see them tomorrow. And I just want to throw that idea out there. Throw them their way. Mm -hmm. I have some segment suggestions. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, all right. Do you want to talk about um, Puppy Possible? Nope. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. Well, we can say real quick that next week, no, because we can mention it on next week. So we're recording before we go next week. Uh, we are on the prowl for a new puppy, and next week we get to go visit some puppies. Right. And so that's all I want to say. Our recording is going to be a little bit earlier and no beverages. No, it's not. No? Honey, it's on Sunday. We record on Saturday. Oh, I keep oh, thinking it's God. Saturday. No. You've told me that already like twice. Punch you I'm in sorry. The dick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so, right, okay, we record on Saturday. We're missing possible puppy on Sunday. Yes, we know we're going to get so. a female. So, here's the thing we whittled it down to three names. Yes. 9, 11, and 13. Yes. Oh, my God. 9, 11. That's weird. Oh, yeah. So we're going to well, go not with together. 13, not those 11, together. 9. We're yes. going to say it that way. One of those. <laughs> so if anybody thinks anything of those for a female uh, puppy, yeah. uh, let us know. And she's going to be either red or black and tan. We don't know if we're getting any of those puppies. We're not sure. So we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. We're not. No. Okay. It will be. We know whatever we get will be a female. Yes. So there you go. Okay. Suck it. All right. Wow. What else you got? <laughs> That's it. That's it for me. No That's it? Much. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't want to talk about Star Wars at Disneyland. Well, I just saw that today, and um, I guess now 17 that seventeen acres of Star Wars at Disneyland. <gasps> okay, so now that it's out, which officially, is the size of the poly, poly field, polo field. Those are, those are falls under like categories of things that I know about but can't talk about until it's they on are Facebook. right. No, but so until they're publicly released, right. and I saw this morning that it was publicly released, and so now I can say shit ton of Star Wars at Disneyland. Yeah. 
That's going to be cool. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I want to go in October Lots of plans. when it's Disneyland, it's Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's Star Wars. Yeah. But I don't, but I would imagine it's going to be three or four years before it's built. Um, well, I think they just bought the land, so they haven't even broken ground. No, for sure. But there are a few things, if you think about it, like Tomorrowland, that could be easily converted. Uh, apparently the article says that the new area, it will be the Star Wars area. Right. I haven't read the article. Um, and I obviously can't say what I do know about it. Okay. But, well, um, needless to say, I, I would imagine they're going to, it's going to be out right. soon. And there are things like, um, and this is not um, Disney talking at all, but I mean, I, I think stuff like um, Space Mountain and Tomorrowland. Well, you can't change Space Mountain. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if you want to change it, but you could easily What's that? put like what, a little bit more the theater that Captain EO it. was in. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, I'm sure that'll be Star Wars. That's in Tomorrowland. Oh, is it? It's, oh, in, the, it's in the Tomorrowland area. They call it Tomorrowland. Yeah, that's it's the land of the future. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but we're still thinking of a Tar Wars. Tar Wars. We're still thinking <laughs> of a Disney 2017 yeah, visit. So. But I was. We need to talk because I'm thinking we might end up moving our vacations more into the September area mm-hmm. to get out of this whole outside lands deal. Right. And then we have to decide if we want to do both. But then it, I, it's, I don't know if it's too far into the rainy season or not. For what? In Jamaica. Uh, I think it's worth the risk. Okay. Anyway, we can discuss. Yeah. Hey, maybe right now we should start discussing our bills. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting. Um, okay. What else you got? It's very cool. I am looking very forward to the whole Disneyland Star Wars thing because not only I am is too. Disneyland cool on its own, but uh, now if they're going to have a new Star Wars section, that'd be we have awesome. A, yeah, we're so behind on our movies and everything. But I know. Anyway. We're so behind on everything. Everything. We have to <sighs> um, rewatch Star Wars before the new one comes out, too. Oh, gosh. Which ones? All of them? Just the first three, if that's okay. Ugh. But you know there's going to be a lot in the second three. Well, in theory... Because <clears throat> I don't officially know. Well, don't say anything. Um, don't say anything. No, I'm just saying we can. I think we can watch just um, Star Wars, Empire, and you know, but Revenge I, of yeah. the Jedi, and then we'll be good. Yeah. All right. Oh, also, I guess uh, we should say real quick: Rose City Comic Con is coming up. Yep. We're excited to go. Uh, it should be fun. Hopefully, um, well, not hopefully. Yeah, it, it'll be fun. Uh, there's a lot of podcasters going, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of podcasting that's going to be happening. Uh, we may not be part of all that podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> we just we just wanted to go and hang out with everybody and have a few beers, maybe some karaoke. I'm on a lot. I have a lot of conning to do. It, yeah, and we, a lot of. Comic I've never book, been to a con, um, so I'm going to spend a lot of time at to con. visit and stuff. So, so I just uh, if all the podcasts <laughs> that come out of this, if you don't hear us, it's we're not dirty shirting anybody or big timing anybody. Dirty shirting. That's kind of like when you like turn your. I don't know. I hear it all the time. <gasps> and I thought, are I'm we gonna, getting slut whisper <laughs> shirts? We are. <laughs> <laughs> no, dirty. I, I understand. What, I, I don't know what that means. Me, what I understand, I don't know exactly. I'm into it like though. When, I like it. You, Let's like, do you, it. You, you, you raise your nose to somebody and walk away. Like that's a dirty shirt. It doesn't even make sense now. That's I'm how gonna look it up. I know. I like it. Roger's the one who uses it all. The time. But um, you can't trust. So it's Roger. not that. It's just that we just kind of want to go and chill. Yeah. So um, we're gonna go and be super chill. So if 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 you don't hear us on some of these podcasts, it's not like we weren't wanting to. It just we didn't dirty just, shirt it. Yeah, we were just kind of like, <laughs> hey, we're just here to hang out. We're extremely supportive of all the people that want to and of want, course, can't of wait course, to hear of course. them all. But we're just gonna be busy conning and having beers and visiting comic book stores, koozies. and we're gonna go visit my old coffee shop having beers. and a few things. Yeah, we got you know. we got plans. Yeah, Are you can be able to see your friend Nate. I'm hoping he's got that whole month off. Right, so um, be it'd be cool to meet you, Nate. Executive. Come on by. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get in touch with him here shortly. Yeah, and it'd be and cool to meet Roger kids. from the kitchen counter. He's having more kids. I don't know what's going on with him. Nate has 17 kids. Something like that. He's got a lot. He must be really tired. I doubt it. No, he's always had a lot of energy. Wow. I'm sure, he's having mm. a good time. Mm. Okay. I believe. <laughs> I believe he just added a. Uh, um, an addition onto his house, which is twice the size of our house. That's his addition. Whatever. Like, it must be nice. His well, office, yeah, he has to put the 70 window, kids somewhere. <laughs> I know. His office window, I think, looks out at the BMX and skate test park that Nike has. Yeah. I know exactly where that is. Pretty yeah. Cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so his, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. What? So his, no, I was going to, I know exactly where his office is then. So, but I was, yeah. I, mean, I was going to say, and I'm like, why would I say that? Yeah, yeah. I will totally creep up on him. Uh, yeah. Creeping on you. Um, <laughs> Um, should I we do our favorite five? Yeah, I think that's all I got. Yeah, I don't really have that much. Yeah. So, you know, I was home. Yeah. Just doing 
pet mommy stuff. We're kind of catching back up to and our regular routine. Cat here, is so. still on the men, sort of, kind of. Batty Boomba Laddie. Still on poop watch, or at least I still watch him poop. <laughs> do not watch him poop. I think he's doing just fine on his own. I don't know about that. There's still um, daily medicine doses and whatnot, but anyway. I appreciate all the well wishes and all of that. And, oh, I was going to say super thank you to my friend, Super Ninja, for not only letting me take cute stuffed animal photos in her room with mm-hmm. her awards and whatnot, but also um, whatnot. she brought us what not? whatever. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed in that picture, but the little Jamaican candle and stuff that we got for her yeah. is, in the, is in the picture, too. With so. the oil? Yeah. The massage oil? Well. Uh, you know she's enjoying that. Yeah. <laughs> At work? After what? No. no. That's not what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, no. I was thinking in the privacy of her own Easy. massage area. <laughs> Stop. Okay, so. When is um, she going to be back on? we got to have her on. I don't know. Soon. Ninja, when are you coming back? Maybe next week. Ninja. Next, next week. week? What? Okay. Ninja side. So, um. I want to thank her for that, but she also brought us some samples of food for the kitties. So that was very nice for her. I just wanted to say thank you. And I just want to thank her. Thank you. <laughs> Stop. Okay. All, All right. right. Let's do our favorite five. You you go. Our favorite five this week is a favorite five websites. Now, this is interesting because I didn't do my five most visited websites. Oh, really? I did my favorite website. I I think I actually week. I think I actually did my five most visited websites. Because yeah, my list is boring as it is. It'll it would be more boring if I did my five most visited websites. Okay. Yeah. I realized I think I need to Do add it more, yeah. yeah. I need to add more porn websites to my repertoire because Does not, it sound very boring? <laughs> extremely. <laughs> this is it, this was such a and that's we, funny because when, when you brought favorite, this up, I was like, "Yours are all going to be like, <laughs> yeah, no, I thought dog it would be fun. training and CNN." <laughs> and <laughs> I thought it would be a lot of fun. I'm like, "Yeah, five free websites," and then I did it, and I'm like, "This is so boring. This is amazing." <laughs> okay, so uh, you should go first then, so right. that way, um, my fifth favorite oh website God, is concerned. Groupon. I'm on the Groupon website <laughs> all the goddamn time. Really? All the time. Oh, so what's funny is I do not know that. I do yeah, not yeah. know that. All the time. And I um, can tell you, mm-hmm. I have never mm-hmm. been on that website. Well, you saw the dog stuff yeah. arrive. Yeah. And something else. I, I just got thought maybe you saw it like on Facebook or something. Like there was mm-hmm. a, somebody posted a group on from well, Facebook. Well, today when I told you about the uh, um, getting the Sunday paper mm-hmm. for 75 Is that what you were doing? You were looking at group on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. I yep. I did not know you did that. Mm-hmm. So see, that's, that's why we do five. this favorite five because right. we learn about each other. Because we like to butt chug. Also that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ovipositor. So I have a new ovipositor. I think it's ovipositor. Okay. I keep it doesn't matter. We're not getting it. One hundred twenty nine bucks. <laughs> not getting it. I already ordered it. No, you didn't. Yeah. Overtime money. No. Yeah. We have this rule. If it's over fifty bucks, we talk about it. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. I'm joking. I did not order it. Over fifty dollars. We have to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. We talk. Yeah. Just because I was thinking of something, but that's a, <laughs> okay. That's no. a present. That's a Do present. we need to hit pause on this? <laughs> no, that's a present for you. So I was like, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's still my birthday. But zero bought it. So we're gonna go out to dinner one of these days. He's a dick. He doesn't talk about anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your number five? Dinner. Okay. Dinner. Birthday dinner. No. That's not that's number, your number five. five. No, it's not. Oh, oh my god, I'm so confused. Like, is that a website? Because that's amazing. I want to go look right now. Let's go do that. So, okay, I have a new um, website that I've been checking out. Yep. And Ninja once yep. again gave me the. Yeah, tell me what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. All right. Wait for it. Tell us first, and then tell. No, us no, the I'm telling you. I'm doing it my way because oh, it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I like to watch anime. <sighs> I'm gonna start doing that crap funny short turn. <laughs> You like to watch anime? Oh, yes. that's right. You have a lot of porn. Um, did you tell not. me about your porn? I do not have Comic porn. I do don't. Mean? That was no. It's you not. Admitted. That is porn. No, it's total porn. It's not. Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about that later. Okay. Can I finish? Yes. Okay. So um, my number five is. Uh, oh shit! Is it Crunchy Roll or Crunch Roll? Are you talking to me? Yeah. I don't even know. It's Crunchyroll. Crunch E? Crunchyroll.com. And it's an anime site. Okay. Yeah, where you can go and watch anime series. And they have a free version. So you have to deal with the ads and things like that. Mm -hmm. Or they have a subscription version. So you can watch the whole series without 
Crunchy commercials. Roll sounds and disgusting. French roll, like sushi. There's Japanese. a crunchy roll. I've yeah. never been in a sushi place. Yeah, that yeah, I'd yeah. Like a crunchy roll. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? For sure. For reals. Really. Anyway, my number five is crunchy roll. Thank you, Ninja. All right, my number four. Wait for it. This is this is gonna blow people's socks off. They're gonna want to get I on think right I now. Check it out. Amazon.com. Mm. Mm-hmm. Amazon. So I'm gonna stop you there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> my number four is also Amazon.com. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. So go ahead. <laughs> Amazon. So I don't know. Amazon's awesome. I order so much stuff off Amazon because I'm like, screw the mom and pop. <laughs> I come home and there's just boxes and I'm like, what is this? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> well, I do not open the boxes because you like to open packages. I know, I like to. Thank so you. I got you to open, open stickers everything. today and That's yesterday right. I got to open koozies. We, we got our delivery of our stickers and koozies, uh, well, to replenish what we were out of, but also for uh, giveaways at our CCC. Yes. CCC, CCC, we were CCC. replenishing for our CCC, CCC, CCC. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Amazon. Amazon. I um, often... Do you like um, just look up stuff there? Like, hey, I wonder how much this is, or you know what I was thinking about this. And they do so, not carry the ovipositor or ovipositor. Just say so you no. Know. I, I don't check. Even, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Um, are we on your? I just well, that's my number four too. So we're on your number three. Number three. Um, it's a website, and I didn't know if this should count, so I can <clears> change it. But I use TweetDeck, the Twitter stuff that's i mean it is a website Technically. it's not an app i mean it is right. a website and you have to so like tweet deck and you have to use it on your browser i mean it's browser be, it can't be yeah. on your mobile device so right so i yeah i think that counts i, I give mean that it's to boring you. as crap but yeah tweet deck. But, but you use it and suggest it so that's official that's right <laughs> it was either gonna be uh tweet for deck those or of people who don't know what tweet deck is please explain uh go look it up Oh wow! Okay, how's that? No, it's a it 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 it's cool Twitter interface that allows you to see uh, what you're tweeting. You can choose like if you want to see your messages, your mentions, what's trending, and if you have more than one Twitter account, you can have it all on one page. And it also will show you what people are liking and retweeting. Yeah, as it's, well, it's pretty cool if you want to know that. Yeah. So anyway. Tech. And, and since we do a lot now with the podcast and the Napa fucking Valley site. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Um, my number three, which is a uh, website as well as an app, mm-hmm. um, is Pinterest. Mm. So um, I well, very Pinterest. much at first didn't really understand Pinterest. And I was like, I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know if I want any part of it because it just seems like a rabbit hole. Well, it, you are interesting in the sense that sometimes when something new comes up for you, you're like, nope. <laughs> no nope. right yeah. and i'm like well why don't you check it out you're like yeah. what is it what it's just a bunch of people sharing pictures i don't need to do that i'm like oh, okay well i thought we could do it for the podcast you're like fine but no and then now you're like it's interesting it's awesome same thing with twitter yeah i was gonna do twitter for the podcast nope i'm not doing that i don't need to talk to people well i, I never know. did twitter before the podcast like and i had now, a twitter account but i never used it i think which, i tweeted twice before the podcast which is hilarious because you have i think Almost three times the tweets that I have. I am a tweet. Um, I I tweet. It's yeah. true. It's so it, nope. I'm but, not doing um, that. The cool thing about uh, Pinterest, nope. I don't know if it's nope. really good or really bad, but it kind of makes me sleepy. Like I just kind of look what? at pictures. Wait, it makes me sleepy. Pinterest. So I, yeah. So I look Pinterest. at pictures. Like sometimes I, you know, like you know, when I have funny my is I think that's their new um their new like you know they're they're going for advertisements so they're like. Pinterest hey, makes you sleepy. Check out Pinterest. <laughs> It'll put you to sleep. I'm sure they're thrilled. Well, okay. So, you know, um, sometimes we go to bed early. Mm-hmm. And so I bring my little iPad and stuff to bed. And so, you know, like I'm tired, but I'm not quite sleepy mode yet. So I will look at Pinterest for like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. And then I start to start getting really sleepy because it's right in that zone of these are kind of cool and I'm looking at pictures and they're cute and they're pretty or, hey, that's a really cool idea or whatever. But it doesn't, it's not so thought provoking that it, you know, it takes all of my brain power and keeps me awake. It helps me kind of zone out from whatever stress I have. It's like a stress reliever to like look at these little pictures and things that I like and, you know, recipes and outfits or whatever it is. And uh, it helps me get ready for bed. Nice. So I do it for about 10 or 15 minutes almost every night. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There There's you go. This, yeah. Pinterest is my number three. What's your number two? My number two is the couple's website. 
that is hilarious because um i don't know if you can see this on my list right here so i had couples and i crossed it out and put crunchyroll because Mm. only because couples was my most visited website in the last like couple of months before we went to jamaica and now it's um it's been replaced by crunchyroll because we just went Right. So, so couples is a swinger site where you can stop it. Oh, no. <laughs> couples is the resort that we go to, or we've been going to in Jamaica. We may branch out, uh, but uh, and so in they have a, they we have might a branch message out. board. But I go to it all the time just to look at the pictures mm-hmm. and to check out the message board. And they just redid their website. And I'm there all the time. Yeah, I'm not this week. That, so, but yeah, me neither. But you know. So that's my number two. That's funny because mm. <laughs> it was on my list of top five, and then I moved it to six. And I like to at go the on, last minute. I like to go on message boards. And you like just, just read it. You don't complain. actually post anything. You just read it. <laughs> and I've talked about this before. I talked about it on the Jamaica. But a little bit like of a people, lurker. People will be like, hey, I was wondering if there's Wi-Fi on the beach in San Sushi. And then someone will be like, why are you taking your phone to the beach? And I'm like, you're really? not answering the question. Yeah. Why are you, why are you taking you so the time to annoying? post your judgmentalness? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't you suck it and put on your freaking 69 Slut Whisper shirt and go <laughs> back to your... That you had specially made for yourself. That's so gross. Go rub gross. your beard on a... God, okay, Magnet. easy, easy. <laughs> You'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my number two yes. is IMDb. IMDb? IMDb. IMDb. Yeah. IMDb. Internet Movie Database. IMDb. I. Oh, we watched Bad Words last night. Mm-hmm. Thought it was awesome. Yes, and we did some IMDb IMDb-de. on yeah. that because we, we wanted to look up one of the actors. Crossing Jordan. What so. did I think that it was before Crossing Jordan? Um, I don't remember, but you recognized one of the actors and Actresses. you thought you remembered him from something. Oh, right, Her. right. That, right, sorry. But then we also talked about the other actor, so that's yeah. Fine. But yeah, but you couldn't remember what you remembered her from, yeah. so remembered, remembered, yeah, yeah. So she anyway, was in Crossing Jordan. So okay. Um. So your number two. Uh, I did mine. Number two is couples. Oh, so I, and two. mine's deep, IMDb. Oh, which so I now think we're is... at number one. Wow, we're blown. Woo! Good. Is it going to be like one. a short episode? No. no. My number one. Weather Underground. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Yes. I, in my head, I was like, weather is going to be in his top five. Yeah. And you hadn't gotten there. So I just assumed maybe I thought wrong. No. I had no idea it was going to be your number I one. I spend, <laughs> I do research on weather in. That's why we have a weather vein. Yeah, but I can't. But our weather doesn't tell me the weather in Argentina or Jamaica. Right, because you need to know that. I don't need to know that. I, hi, Kitty. I, I want okay? to know that. <laughs> he's going to the bathroom. No, he's not. He just wishes um, he could. He's he's contemplating life. He and the fact weather, that he can't go to the bathroom. Okay. And he's like, oh, I want to know the weather right now. Anyway. Uh, in Nellyville. I wonder what the, what the weather is. The, but I can't even talk. I wonder what the weather is in Nellyville. Humid. <laughs> Nellyville? <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. So moist. Oh, okay. that reminds me. Uh, Nellyville, <laughs> another show that I'm really into. Yeah, I know. <gasps> uh, yeah. So, weather, I mean, because sometimes you just got another weather. That's my number one. Mm-hmm. What's your number one? Um. So... What's funny is you probably know it. You're number one? Yeah. I know you know it. Oh, I don't know. It's okay. I'll say it and then you'll be like, of course it is. Are you ready? Uh, No. Let me think for a moment. Facebook. No. That's not it. No. Well, you're always on it. What? What do you mean you're not? You're always like, I got a post about the freaking, the dogs being rescued today. Well, that's for the Napa site. So I was posting that it's uh, clear the shelter day for all the... Hey, you guys, clear the shelter day. Go to your local shelter and adopt an animal. Only if you can take care of it and you're ready to have an animal. Just don't go get one for fun. Yeah. This and then leave it in the backyard because that sucks. Okay. Yeah. So my... Don't throw it on the barbecue. Most visited and most favorited website is... Crunchyroll. Fantastic fiction, fiction dot co dot uk. I don't know what the hell Fantastic that is. Fantastic Fiction is a book website. Oh, is that one that you're always looking for? Like the, that terrible website that's like black with fluorescent green, which I like the colors, but is that the website? Did you just call it terrible? Yeah. But is it black and fluorescent green? I mean, it, the, oh. the website, it, I mean, the way it looks is not very attractive. No, but it's very efficient and it um, links you to whatever, if you uh, search for an author... It doesn't have a great search engine if you don't spell the author right. You have to have the author's name exactly right. So you put the Sounds author's like name in. Website. Stop it. And then um, what they've ever published comes up. And then it'll, it can link you to like Amazon or a couple of other sites if you want to like actually purchase it. But it lists like little um, summaries and reviews. And if you like that author, oh, you, books. you might also like this author. Yeah, of books. It's yeah. a book website. 
That's ex- yeah. And it's a um uh English book website dot uk. Fantastic fiction. What's he doing? He doesn't feel so good. I think he has to poop. I think he feels fine. I just don't he know. He doesn't. What he's he has doing. to poop. Roy. What? He's like being all sphinx. That's what cats do. Cats. Slash sphinx. Fat freaking stop. Lazy bastard. So we shall what's be your so number, lucky. what's the name of the number one again? I told you already. Fantastic fiction. That's really the name of it? Yes. So it's only fiction, not any non fiction? Right. right. Don't, don't get upset at me. I didn't even freaking know. Why why? You know what it is. I look at it all the time. It, is it the black and green one? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's not what I thought your number one would be. What did you think it would be? I don't know. See? But, but not you, that. But you know that I look at that all the time, and I love that website, and I, I recommend maybe, it all I the time. I thought we get like an Etsy or a... I hardly ever look at Etsy now. Well, you, you should look at it more than Fantastic Four. No, I whatever. shouldn't. <laughs> whatever that oh you can, if you don't spell it right it doesn't give you any results mm. and if you do it heaven forbid you spell it right well heaven forbid <laughs> you spell it right okay <laughs> stop okay all right i'm really happy you're home <laughs> i'm very happy i'm home too. and we're having pizza right not right now we're recording we're, but we're gonna have pizza not for a while it's early we are recorded earlier about? can we see you early of course now i'm gonna go to bed early oh we have to go to do we have to go do something else? No, tomorrow. We yeah, have yeah. to go sit in the heat. We have M&M. With milk. With milk. <laughs> it's going to be like 105 tomorrow in Woodland. Oh, my God. With anyway. milk. Who the hell wants milk in a park? They have kids. Who wants milk in a park? They have kids. Kids they want milk. They can have all the kids they want. Kids <laughs> don't want milk. Parents want the kids to have milk. That might be true. Kids want soda. You know, instead of milk. <laughs> kids want soda. Yeah. Instead of milk, I'm bringing freaking cream soda. <laughs> That's the best statement right yeah. there. Kids want soda. Yeah. Okay. Kids don't want milk. Close oh. this out. Come yeah. on. Let's no, go. you do Let's it. Let's go eat pizza. I don't like to do it. <sighs> All you right. Okay. So thank you for listening. As always, really, really appreciate it. Please check out everything. Oh, nice. I like the beat. Um. So thanks for listening. And go ahead and check out our free app. Um, Daft Pod, and then um, Dangles, <laughs> Dangles, <Sorry>. God, Dangles. <laughs> you, you're so distracting we me dangle. right now. Dark Angels on PrettyFeeks dot com. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. Sometimes on Periscope, although I don't think we've done that since Jamaica. Um, please call our voicemail at seven seven four three two seven three seven one three or seven seven four D A P F seven one three. And we are on some amazing podcast Roll networks. The we don't have a bumper. Aw. Oh, suck it. <laughs> suck it. Um, com, dangerentertainment.net, wickedradio.com, poddam.com, podgodsnetwork.com, tangentboundnetwork.com. I would also like to say really getting... quickly that Adam from Podgods, who's the head of podgods.com, mm-hmm. um, awesome. is getting married today. It was his birthday, I think, the day before today yesterday. He's getting married? Yes. Oh, congratulations. So congratulations. I know he was getting married, but I didn't know what to say. So he, his birthday was awesome. two days ago. He yeah. is super awesome. Anna Barker. Anna Barker podcast. Yeah, but, um, but, can you say it any faster? I could. Okay. Um, and then he's getting married today. And what a fucking incredible week that is. Your birthday and you getting married in the same week. That's going to be expensive later. I'm just going to throw that out there. It, it could be a great week. It could also be, <laughs> you know. But also um, check us out. iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. I was thinking of getting nickel stickers for um, RCCCC. That say that what? Roll the bumper and then just have graphicnovice.com. Should we do that for him? We should. Okay. But now you just said it, so now it's not surprising. He does not going to listen to it yet. Nickel? Don't you listen, listen to our podcast? He does. No, Tweet he listens. <laughs> <He does. laughs> so um, also please check out geekliferadio.com. That's an oh, awesome podcast. An, and Oh, you haven't no, updated that? it's not a that? podcast. Well, so it's a website that has a podcast and some other that stuff, things like while. that on there. And they have a new Instagram page. So please check out Geek Life Radio on Instagram as well. So. Instagrammies. Thanks for listening. That's it. We're out. 74. We'll see you next week. Bye.